So first of all, I'd like to thank Professor Patel for giving me uh, this opportunity, you know, to be among the elites of Oroville. And uh, all of us are here because all of us are some way involved in studying, as, as you said, the thoughts and writings of Mother and Sri Aurobindo. And uh, otherwise, you know, I work in a very narrow field, in a clinical setting. We only do, you know, all infertility investigations, genetic investigations, cancer investigations, you know, that is the mandate I have. So we do all the, you know, diagnostic uh, investigations for the patients in the hospital and all hormonal investigations. But after reading Sri Aurobindo, you know that uh, my vision entirely changed. I, I'm, I've been reading Sri Aurobindo's uh, philosophy and thoughts and writings for the last 20, almost 20 years. So the vision changed and then I started questioning, you know, what is the meaning of all, you know, life processes and all that we are doing, you know, this, this kind of specialized subject of reproductive biology and all in the of medical sciences and uh, anywhere else. The last one, you know, come down, come down, come down, the last one, come down. Uh, it is sexuality too. Look at the file, you know, it's, it's a folder, it's a folder, it's a folder. So <clears throat> just now, you know, I heard and then I started, you know, analyzing all what is happening in